greetings, hi, hello, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do just a really quick roundup of what my five favorite plants are right now in my collection. I'm not gonna present them in any order. I don't know if I have an order for them, but I wanna talk about my five favorites. Currently they're also like growing a lot and they're just bringing my attention to them that way. And then I also wanna show you a new plant that I got last week, uh, just because I wanna show it so that in the future I can reference a video to know how much it's grown and I don't buy enough plants anymore to do plant hauls, so I'm just gonna tack it onto here. So I'm just gonna grab the plant that's in front of me right now and get started with the favorites. So this is my philodendron lemon lime. This is one of the plants I've owned the long, actually it's the plant I've owned the longest. And it doesn't look like I've owned it the longest because it's not that big. Um, I did have to chop this up a lot. It did not do super well after the move and I had it kind of trying to grow on a plank or trellis and it wasn't doing too hot. So I've been kind of in the process of recovering it and chopping it and trying to get it more full. And as you can see, there is a ton of new growth that is happening. All of this really bright stuff up here is all new growth. There's new growth happening even on the trailing part and it's filling out quite nicely. Also with this strand over here, I decided to try the bobby pin method thing to see if it might root down into the soil and then also fill out more that way. I've never tried that before, but I figure it's worth a shot. But I am just so happy with how much this is filling out on top. This is one of the plants that I mentioned I wanted to see get bigger, fuller, healthier in my uh, 2023 plant goals video. And it's definitely happening. This thing is doing so well. I think it really likes its new home. I put it under, or I guess it's been there, but I have it under my grow lights in the bedroom. And so there's grow lights maybe like 10 inches or so above it, which I think is one of the reasons that it's filling out on top so nicely. So I've really been loving this. I just, I love the bright green foliage. I think it's so fun and it's just doing so well. It makes me so happy um, because it used to be so big and beautiful and glorious. And then it hit a really big down slope and now it's on its way back up. So next I have three philodendron to talk about and I don't want to talk about them all in a row. So I'm going to alternate. So up next, one of my other favorite plants right now is my Pilea peperomioides. As you can tell, this is the side that mostly faces out of the window of my bedroom, but I am trying to do a good job of like rotating it. So when I put it back, I'm gonna put this side facing out. But this is my Pilea and it is a baby from my mother plant that I sold when I moved to the apartment with Matt. And I've talked about it before, but selling that was my biggest regret in the move uh, when it came to my plant. Uh, collection and I think this might have also been in my 2023 plant goal video. I can't remember um, But I wanted it. I think I mentioned wanting it to have babies and I hadn't noticed until I grabbed this plant for this video But there are babies forming in the soil. I can see three I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them in there. Hopefully you can see at least some of them Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy um, it's been like super thirsty lately and so I figured it's been growing a whole lot and it has been growing a whole lot but I'm so excited that there's babies coming up. I think I'm just going to leave all the babies in the pot with it. I liked the way that that looked with my old mother plant and then if it gets too too crazy I can just go ahead and like propagate the babies but I'm so happy with it and also look at how big some of these leaves are like that's pretty big. That's pretty big. <laughs> so it looks really beautiful and lovely and I'm just very happy with the way that it is doing so far. Up next, another philodendron. This is my philodendron mycans. And this was definitely in my plant goals video to get a fuller, happier looking plant as well because I got a bunch of cuttings of this um, and they just were not looking great. And now it's it's doing pretty well. It's putting out a lot of new growth. A lot of the new growth is like really small as you can see, like these leaves are pretty small, but some of the new growth is quite large compared to it. So like, obviously this isn't a huge leaf, but compared to all these tiny little leaves, it's pretty good size. And so I'm really happy with the way that it's been doing. I am excited to see it continue on this path. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy. There's so much new growth and there's new growth down in the soil even like from really small propagations that are starting to take off and everything. So it's just super cool to see. 
I'm very proud of it. I've been struggling with getting these propagations to take off since I got them. And I think I got them like mid last summer or something like that. So it's been a while. It's been like eight months about. So the fact that this is all I have to show shows how much I've been struggling, but it is taking off. And so I think by the end of the year, my 2023 plant goal involving this plant is going to be a success. Up next, my last non-philodendron favorite plant of the month, or current moment anyway, is my Hoya linearis. And this is a plant that I got right before my surgery, literally the day before my surgery. Matt's mom sent me a gift card to a plant shop and she was like, instead of buying you flowers, I figure you can go buy some house plants and that might bring you a little bit more joy. And it was the first time I had ever seen Hoya linearis in person. And I bought this and it was honestly probably like half the length that it is now. I could go back into a vlog and see. And it's been doing so well. It's really close to a grow light and it's just so fuzzy and fun. I don't know if you can see the fuzziness of it. I had heard that it was fuzzy from YouTube and stuff, but I wasn't expecting it to be as fuzzy as it is because it's not just the leaves, but it's also the stem and the vine, which is super cool. And like I said, it's doing quite well. Everything's growing pretty long. It's not as dense as some that I have seen, um, like from Becca de la Plants or something, but I'm really happy with it. I'm really proud of it. I'm excited to see where it goes and how full it gets. And there's a lot of growth up top that's just not quite long enough yet to like spill over and trail over, but it seems to be really happy in its location. And it's just growing so, so fast that I'm, of course, of course it's gonna draw my eye. And then my last favorite is another philodendron, like I said, and it is my philodendron Campus Portuanum, or Tuanum, I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but I got this from Gabriella Plants back in the fall and I chopped it all up. I think that might've been in a plant shores video, I'm not entirely sure, but then once it was well rooted, I decided to pot it all up together with this little pole and kind of have it growing around the pole to hopefully get some leaves to size up. And this thing grows so fast, it roots so fast. You can see these aerial roots on here and they're not like growing into the pole, but they existed even without the pole being near them. I just Velcroed these up to here pretty recently, but it's just going off so fast. It's growing so quickly. I'm not getting any of the, so these like really mature leaves down here are the original leaves that the plant came with and some of them have some crisping. And I'm not getting any of the like mature shape quite yet. This one's like fairly mature shape. I don't know what it's gonna harden off to, but this is my favorite leaf on the whole thing. Is this little baby funny looking leaf right here. I don't even know if it's in focus. Ah, this big leaf is in the way. This little baby leaf right here is my favorite on the whole plant, but it just grows so, so fast. It's got lots of roots coming out of the bottom already, but I think it's just gonna end up living in this container for a while because I want it to try and focus on the leaf size a little bit more than just focusing on roots if I were to pot it into a bigger pot. So those are my five current favorite plants. And I wanna wrap up this video by showing you the new plant that I got. So I got this last week um, while Matt was still out of town because I was actually going to the plant store to see if they had any pumice because I wanted pumice for my potting mix and no place in town sells pumice. Everyone has perlite, but I want pumice. So I think I'm gonna have to order it online. But anyway, I did see this and I kind of fell in love with it. And it is a Hoya Croniana Eskimo, six inches. It was $40, but I still had some money left over on that gift card that Matt's mom got me. And so I ended up only having to pay 25 out of pocket. Um, but it's really, really beautiful. This was the most silver of the ones that were at the store. And so I was like, ooh, yeah, I definitely want that one. It's really unique compared to the other Hoya leaf shapes that I have. And I really like the silver and the splashing and everything, so. I'm really excited about this. I currently have it living alone in the kitchen in a fairly dark windowsill just because I am trying to be better about like isolating plants when I bring them into the apartment and making sure that they don't have any pests or anything like that. So I'm gonna leave it alone for another like week or so and then I will find it a nice bright spot so that it can start 
growing again and give me some really beautiful silver leaves and everything. I do need to take some propagations just in case something happens. I don't think anything will, but you know, just in case. But there's all these like super cute tiny little leaves. I just love the way that Hoya leaves come in so, so small and cute and there's a bunch all over, so. I've been really loving Hoya lately. I've been thinking about filming a video of my Hoya collection because honestly, all of my Hoya are growing like crazy right now. So I don't know, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Let me know if you have any video, or let me know if you have any plants that you're absolutely loving in your collection right now. I always love to hear that. It definitely inspires me and kind of makes me want more plants, but I think I've reached my capacity. So now I think I'm at the one in one out kind of stage of things. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.